right, boys, before we get into the podcast, uh, I want to shout out a few bars that are carrying Happy Dad. Um, we got Cook's Corner in Orange County. Uh, in Nashville, we got Kid Rock's Honky Tonk. In Lake Havasu, Arizona, we got Kakamos. And we also are in all Twin Peaks locations nationwide. Uh, there's a ton of bars now that are carrying Happy Dad. So if you guys want to find them, go to happydad.com slash find. Uh, put in your zip code and you're going to find a ton of places that carry Happy Dad. And we're going to be shouting out places every episode now that are carrying Happy Dad. So if you are carrying Happy Dad, shoot us a DM on Instagram and uh, send us proof. And you might get a shout out in the next podcast. Let's get into it. What's up, Brad? What's up? Gabe, what's up? What's good, guys? All right, we're going to do another internal. We've been doing this back to back pretty much after our uh, anytime we go on a crazy trip, we're probably going to do an internal because I know you guys want to hear about this crazy ass Israel trip. So we're just going to have uh, all of us sit down. We're going to tell you guys about the trip. Yeah, no. Uh, we're waiting on Salim still. He's probably still. How, how's Salim doing on the way home? Oh my God. How was that? We just slept the whole way. Oh, yeah. You guys had a good flight? Yeah. It was, it was all right. Ours was probably 10 out of 10 home. Yeah, we did a, a really that? good flight. No, it was just good. Just leaving. Like, I, I'm a guy that's no man left behind. So when I see in the morning <clears throat> from Gabe, yo, me and Kyle left. That that was shocking to me. I, no man like, I, I work for Kyle, not for you, first of all. So like, I don't live with Kyle, not with okay, you. Hold on. Bro, I know it's been a while for you. I know since Dan Bilzerian when things <laughs> really crashed. But uh, okay, question. we roll with the squad. Like me, Jay, <clears throat> the rest of the squad. We were up together making sure, yo. Are we everyone accounted for? Everyone has their bags. And uh, we went as a squad. You guys chose to leave early in the middle of the night. I just, I don't really rock with that. That's up to you. Can but. I say something first? Yeah, well, basically, I mean, Steiny, Salim, cousin was pretty dialed, but they had a bunch of days off throughout the whole trip. So um, I was always there every single day. I didn't have a day off. I think Steiny definitely, Steiny and Salim had one full day off. Like, Steiny had two pretty much. And, yeah, I'd say. Throughout the trip, if you add up all the days, you probably had two half days off too. No, Tw- I tw- so, so like I took one half day. Yeah, so like for me, I, all the last day too, all the boys were sleeping, and the tour guide still had like a bunch of shit planned for us because he was there. So I felt bad. I went to the market with them, and then we went to meet the Israeli singer that we had planned. Everyone's like, "Where's Steiny? Where's Salim? Where's 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 the rest of the squad?" Oh, Everyone's no, like, "What the fuck?" And then nothing. we also went out to the dinner that they had planned. So end of the day, you know. Me and Gabe kept the kept the kept the relationship happy on that side, and yeah, no, there was a last minute flight at like twelve forty five that popped but up. But also, I was not. Like, I was I, 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 I bought my own flight home. I wasn't in a different flight already because this guy fucked up my flight back, <clears throat> so I was never on you guys' flight. First of all, so when my boss that I'm supposed to fly with tell me late, let's go, I'm not gonna think twice and like leave you behind. Of course, you know what I mean. It makes total sense. He fucked me over. But then you say you didn't train CO, so I guess that really I was just bored as fuck because no right? one was around. So I was like, Gabe, yo, is there another flight that's like earlier? And he just saw it, and I'm like, all right, I'm out. I mean, Straight I kind of felt yeah. backstabbed because you guys kind of set up that flight right in front of me. So like, oh, you were have, there? We're gonna have some talking, Gabe. Oh fuck! Yeah, like Gabe was already on was a different flight. I, I bought my own so flight. So Kyle paid for his own flight. If you want to yeah. pay for your own flight next time, just like I'll, I'll let you know. Yeah, okay, I mean, of course. If you were if you were up and awake, you probably I was awake. I was actually journaling. Oh really? <laughs> I was. That's why you're writing glass. affirmations. That's why you're wearing journal. glasses today. Now? Well, yeah. I mean, are those side gamer note. glasses though? Those are like the yellow tint ones. Yeah. What's up with that? I don't know. They just they were the only ones CVS carried. Don't and don't lie. You bought those for like performance gaming for Fortnite. Or <laughs> no, I did right? not, bro. <laughs> you you don't even Brad, buy them for journaling. Brad seemed like a different guy when he put on glasses, and I figured maybe I come in here and put on glasses. You just look ridiculous. That's you all. Look, you look no, like, I'll I'm be sorry. honest though. I. I told Gabe straight up. I was like, I I do feel bad that I'm leaving, but it was one of those selfish moments that I was like, like fuck it. I was so tired that I was like, yeah, I don't I don't give a fuck. In, in response up. to that, I'll, I'll be honest. Like no, I was I actually like, real quick, I'm gonna let you finish. I but feel like I'm not too selfish sometimes, and I was like, honestly, I'm going home. I'm gonna let you finish, but you got to think about it. It's February, Black History Month, and I'm offended. I'm offended, Kyle. Gabe, how are you offended? This is unacceptable. How are you offended? It's Black, Black History, History Month, Month, and you bro. didn't give me first class to come back with you guys. Think about it. <laughs> but this guy, he planned the trips. What do you mean? During Pride Month, it was all about you. What's good? Over here. Right there. What's good, boy? You guys skedaddled uh, yesterday. <laughs> yeah, we were just talking we got, about that. We just got betrayed. I dude. know. How? We need to talk about it. During our you guys month. Took during our month. You guys took literally two I'm days off. You and Steiny. Huh? You and Steiny took literally two days off the trip. It was, it was sneaky. It was just like, damn. 
You guys, I mean, I don't know. You guys let us know. I mean, Gabe signing. was already on a different flight, so he was never on your guys' flight. And you guys were snoozing. I was bored as fuck all day, and I saw a fucking flight, and I was like, I'm out. I bought my own ticket. Yep. If you guys were up, you probably could have got on that flight too. But Steiny was just you guys were, know. you guys Steiny. were snoozing. Yeah, I mean, whatever, bro. I'm glad you guys caught the Israeli sunrise, though. Probably that night, right? It was no, beautiful. No, no. That must have been nice. No, don't worry. The cur- that's when we shut the curtains, bro. <laughs> so we didn't have to see that shit. Yeah, the curtains were shut, so we didn't have to see nothing. It was nighttime for us. Don't you fucking oh worry, buddy. God. Uh, I'm not that that is nice. my defense. Like, if you guys were up bulling and shit, and like we were chilling the whole time that day, I probably would have been like, all right. But like, you guys were dust. Didn't want to watch the Jake Paul fight and shit. Like, I was tired. Brutal vibes, man. So I was like, all right. Cuzzy, me and Cuzzy were vibing all day, but yeah, we had time. But you couldn't have stayed because you had to take care of some business probably that that night too. Um, yep, serious business. So man. don't even act like you would have came. I'm a business what did Jay man. do that night? I'm a businessman. We'll, we'll get to that, but um, what, we, what did you guys think of the trip overall? Why don't we start off from day one? But but overall, what did you think of the trip? Before we get into it, it felt fast and it felt like a lot. Like, did you did you live up to your? Because you said you weren't going to drink, you weren't going to party. You're just going to be super religious. How, how do you think okay, that so, went for you? Well, we went to Jerusalem, which uh, it was that was a huge moment. Very, very touched home for me. And it was like very religious and important. But I was approached the Western Wall, which we were all at. And <laughs> that was great. I don't even know if that guy was real, if he was a character that came from upstairs. But that guy had me sign the scroll, right? Yeah, he was super am- animated. And did, you, did you blend that? No, I didn't plan that. I had no idea what I was signing. Sign Pretty it. much your game, like, but yeah. It was like signing my note contract. They just, he just said, yo, sign it. I came and read it. And you couldn't whatever. read it. <laughs> Shut <laughs> up, bro. <laughs> so, you just so, signed your life away. So he goes, hey, like not many people get to sign this. I want you to sign this holy scroll at the wall. And I signed it. And the celebration really took off to a next level that I didn't expect it to get to. And uh, that was night one of Jerusalem. We fucking raged face. And uh, yeah, no, I partied the entire time I was there. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Like I don't, I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing, but I think it was bad. Why? No, no, no. I mean, like, I just feel like, I feel like we just <laughs> why? I feel like we partied. I mean, I I was decent. I was hungover a few days too, but I feel like the partying, like, that's why it made everyone so tired and shit like that too. But they, the people there, like, they were encouraging it. Like, they yeah. were everywhere we went, they were pouring shots. The fans were insane. Oh, my goodness. No, the first day was, like, no party day, and you guys that's what That's what I was trying trash. to tell you. I was, te- I was trying to tell you guys, bro, the first day, you should never fucking go, like, game seven on a trip. Because guys have full you're going to be dead the whole trip. I went, we went game seven every day of that trip. We went, yeah, like, game seven, triple OT. The first day. <laughs> the dinner like, and I was but so But it, it kind of gradually went up, like, over time. Like, it didn't start off, like, a big sin. It was, like, down here. It was, a, it well, was like, yeah. What did you guys think of the Western Wall? The Western Wall was really... Jerusalem. I thought it was really cool seeing all the history and stuff like that. Um, and, yeah, I know I know we got, like, a little bit of backlash from, like, going to Israel and stuff like that. But I, I said it on my story, too. Like, I, I was, like, obviously, all, me and all my friends, like, we went to a Catholic elementary school and high school. Because in Canada, it's publicly funded. Like, you don't pay to go to a Catholic school. Like, you're either Catholic, pretty much, in my area, or, like, you're just atheist, pretty much. So, like, that was, like, my whole life. We had to take religion until grade 12. So, like, I learned a lot of shit about, like, religion, right? So, being there and, like, seeing where Jesus, like, carried the cross and, like, all the stories that, like, I learned was, like, crazy. So, I think it was pretty stupid how people were telling us, like, yo, you can't go to a place that, like, undeniably has so much like history and like stuff that you like learned about as a kid too yeah especially because we weren't like taking sides like that's not that's not our place to tell who's right or wrong yeah it's just like we we want to live we want to experience and have a a great time and i think we did and then some people are like like well you some people are like well you should have done that off camera then it's like all right just just don't watch that our life is on camera pretty much yeah we didn't go there to like promote one side or the other funny Huh? I just like this. You like say something and then he reassures it. Like, like, <laughs> I'm not even sure. I'm just saying my opinion. Can we talk <laughs> about it already? I mean, Gabe is a reflection of Kyle. Like, he's we should take the glasses off, we went, by the way. We went, we went to Israel. It's kind of ridiculous already. Yeah, we went fun. to Israel take to tour off, the bro. country and it was a fucking, I had a blast. Like, I think it'll be a good video. I we, did I did learn too, though. Like, I know you guys were sleeping that day on the bus, but like we got a whole, when we went through like, <laughs> when we went to the military thing, 
The like, second day, dude, yeah. it is like wow. The, like there you go, perfect. It's an intense situation that's going on over there. Oh like, yeah, it's crazy. Bro. So on the second day, like just so we did the whole Jerusalem thing, and the second day we went to this because you guys were destroyed. Second day, nobody was alive. Okay, well, much. real quick. Okay, well, hang mean? on. Like, no, nah, bro. Like we, we were did, just we, tired, we, man. We like, all did the, 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 the second day. We went and did something. <laughs> but Western Wall, sorry to answer your question, was uh, it was good. I think it was cool. Yeah, I, there was a little too many fans there for me to really get like the full experience. I felt. Yeah, because we had to. You guys had. We had to write something on a piece of paper. Oh yeah, and then you put it in the wall. You, you write something you're like thankful for, and then you write like pray for like stuff you want in your life, and you do that. Any religion does that. Yeah, any religion. So, yeah, something so we cool all, about we all did it, and we all actually took it seriously. Yeah, something cool, cool about Jerusalem is like all the religions get together there, right? Something that we learned, we all learned that doesn't matter what kind of religion you are, on that place everybody's together for one, one only reason that you know some something is above us, something is looking out for us, and to get together and just pray together. <laughs> Not really? And I it, mean, <laughs> what do you mean? Like that's what if, there's everybody's different there. Different sections, right? <laughs> yeah, but like they has all the corners and they have everything yeah, together no, there. Mean, I'm just kidding. So it's like it's is is a really powerful po- I mean, really so, powerful some place. Some Christianity people can't go into the mosque, you know. Yeah, yeah. but like Didn't all the religions that? are there, bro. Didn't they say that? They said they have yeah, to make sure that you have to make sure they'll ask you certain questions if you're actually like like you bro. can't just go in there. Yeah, like don't there, ask there was me that. the know. whole the whole like, situation there, bro. Like I now that I've even learned about it more, like I was like watching more videos on like the history of that area and everything, bro. Like that shit has been going on since like fucking a thousand like That's more history. like a thousand years before Christ was born. Like three thousand years that it's crazy, bro. There's yeah. so much like religion in that area and like it's intense. It's kind of it, uh, it's cool to see. It was insane to yeah. me to see that. But we went to um G- Jesus Christ tomb. Yeah, yes. we went to oh, where yeah, Jesus was oh, there's a lot of people there. <laughs> Jesus was buried. And where was, would, was where would the cross was located? Where the he carried crosses? the cross in the hills, like yes. insane, bro. Like straight up, like <laughs> we touched the place. Like we shout out the, to Jesus for like the route that, that he fucking lot. carried that cross, bro. Like that was a serious route. We bro. touched the like, place it was, where he fall, right? Like, the incline steep. Jesus had on the cross it was, was like it was like this, bro. Your calves would like, be like huge if you walked that thing. Jesus went out with a good fucking. Incline leg day, bro. Straight up. We saw all the places. That was beautiful. Do you guys, did you guys had, had a chance to, to, to um, sorry. Do you guys had a, t- a chance to touch where he, where he touched when he fell for the first time? No, we couldn't go. You remember it was packed? Yeah, we touched it. No, no, no. Where, where he fell for the first time. No, he first fall. How he many times did wall. you cry that day? You cried at the Western yeah, Wall. Yeah, dude, you cried a lot, man. Well, that was I'm, good shit, like, man. Like Kyle, I'm like, you cried I at have the a wall. really, can, can I finish? You cried at the McDee's. Like Kyle, I have a really like, background of my family and how I grow up and everything. <laughs> so my family was really religious. And then my grandma just passed away last year. So like for me, that came out together. And it was just like emotion after emotions. The Western Wall, I literally just like was 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 too much. And like I think was a really, I felt a really good moment. And I was able to like to let it out. But yeah, I cried a lot that day. That's the question you guys want to hear. Nice. Well, how you felt, Sonny? You, like, you feel like a king there, right? Yeah, no, this guy, this guy think he's a messiah for some reason. Because like when we there is what we learned that people just go to to Jerusalem, they have this syndrome they call the the Jer- Jerusalem syndrome. Is it syndrome. called the Western Wall? Yeah, right. Huh? Western is Wall. Western is the wall. wall syndrome. No, Jer- Jerusalem syndrome. Oh, really? That's what they call. And then this guy has a that syndrome and many many other. Well, what the syndrome is is like some some people that go to the Western Wall or Jerusalem, they come back thinking that they're the messiah. It's like an actual syndrome that people get, like a mental syndrome. It's like I mean, Steiny got that I blue check this, on Instagram. Find the other two people that signed the scroll. There's three of us, bro. So find those. You're other the only two Jewish, people. bro. No, they, anyone could sign it. No, the only Jewish people that he was rapping you and doing Jewish dancing and stuff. He's only Jewish. How can me or Kai? Sign They're not going to ask you to sign it. Yeah, I'm not no Jewish. going to go. Holy shit, Gabriel Poncho, bro. At the I'm Western not Jewish. Wall. <laughs> of course, I'm not going to sign it. <laughs> Anywhere. I respect it. I will respect them. I'm sorry. I cannot That's sign respect it. respect on my name. I'm not I'm Jewish. Scroll, bro. Well, Jesus had real followers. <laughs> that you was have, pretty cool that you did that. Yeah. Jesus had real followers. I think you have like half your followers are fake. What, yeah. How many followers <laughs> do you think he'd have on the gram? Probably over like 100 mil. 100%. But like it was actually dope. <laughs> if, he did, if he did, he would he'd probably have like. I'd say, he'd have 500 I, he had, mil. No, he had like 50. He had like 50. <laughs> <laughs> he had like 50. No, keep, keep it a buck. Are fucked. Probably, probably a, yeah, probably a billion. he'd be like probably somehow, billion. Yeah. somehow Kylie Jenner would have him beat. Just be like, what the fuck? Okay, that's when yeah, that's that's tough. But 
it was dope seeing where Jesus Christ got crucified. <laughs> like we actually walked the, we walked everywhere where he, he roamed. It was awesome was, to see that. That was really nice. It's dope. <laughs> Jay got the white voice song. And then, yeah, pretty much after that, there was a lot of fans and they were following us around everywhere. We, we were shocked at how many fans we had in Israel. Like we got surprised, like we got met at the airport by fans. They followed us throughout the entire day at Jerusalem. <laughs> It was a lot. Wheelchair guy. Crazy. <laughs> oh, have a lot of, oh, oh yeah. Gosh. Oh my god. Yeah, wheelchair guy. The guy who he wasn't like, even crippled. Fall off, bro. Nah, fake wheelchair yeah, guy running into fan. buses. Huh? He crashed into a bus, didn't he? Yeah, no, he, he crashed, crashed into a bus. He crashed into the tables too. The tables. And, like broke broke. I don't think they know, setup. but this fan, uh, he was just like, there's like some fans are just too too horny, and this guy acted like he was fake crippled, and he had he had his friend like pushing him everywhere, but we actually thought he was hurt, but he just threw him against the chair. He got hit by a bus. He was just doing anything he can. Faking that in Jerusalem. That was, like, yeah. Was I don't know why he was faking <laughs> Pretending that. to be a handicapped guy in Jerusalem. They are just pushing him down <laughs> the stairs <laughs> and shit. Because like, like, I was genuinely like, damn, kind of is he hurt? He, You're like right under God's nose just being an asshole. <laughs> oh my but he, God. He, he did it for like, he was committed for four hours. Yes, like, yes. The fact he was so committed is what made it funny because it was so annoying. Everywhere we, had to stop we were going, him. he caught up. Everywhere we were, we're like, dude, we just drove. How the hell? I had to talk to him because he wasn't like, was affecting you, Hondo tried to suck his yeah, dick. Yeah, no, because we got invited. <laughs> what? No, bro. No. So we got invited to do a bunch of TVs by the, <laughs> I by the city and shit. I got a story in the club. So I had to come and talk to you like, bro, like, look, you cannot do those kind of things. And he was like, oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't know that. It's like, was well, like just too much, you know? We're here to talk to fans, take photos. But was like, that was not too much for you guys. It's like, you know? <laughs> now, I mean, Gay was whatever. filming him, though. I think that's why you didn't push it too much. Yeah. Because usually you're like, no, like leave Kyle alone. No. You want to know, know why? Because like, oh you know, God. you know, if that guy's com that committed to trying to get in the video, yeah, like yeah. he'll do just about anything. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I, you're smart for thinking like good that. Show. Yeah. Oh, that is a Look good at point. You, boy. I didn't even think of that. The fucking wow. W up, bro. Uh, all right. I'm the Messiah, so. Well, and then, and then after that, we had, um, we had three really cool, uh, well, four pretty much the, the whole time. Because yeah, Steiny set up this trip. Um, appreciate that again. Because I had a really good time. But um, I hope the whole gang did straight up. I hope you did, I hope all you guys did. I had a, I had a good time. I had, we had a, great a great time. time I had a great time. It wasn't Amazing. as relaxing as Russia, but it, it was. I had a great time. But yeah, we had four tour guides. Uh, one was named Elkanah, and that, and that was Steiny's boy from when he went to Israel before. So shout out to him. And then we had uh, three other people. One was named Leah. One was named Uriel. One was named Sarah. So they they kind of like you like too. They were in charge of taking mm -hmm. us around all of Israel and stuff like that. And then um. They're really cool too. We became pretty good friends with them. Yeah, I would say. So after after Jerusalem, we went to we had, we had dinner that night. That was yeah, so, so funny. So, Talk about so the dinner after oh, Jerusalem, we went to dinner at one of the tour guides' houses, and it was like was it Shabbat or no? Or just no. like it was, it was like an early Shabbat. It was like kinda. a super Jewish like house. Uh, yeah, more or less. Right? I don't yeah. know. They're like old white people. Yeah, <laughs> like, I mean. They look, I don't know, it was pretty Jewish. Yeah, Jewish I, yes. I, I'm kind of feeling what you were feeling with the whole BLM you know situation saying? right you know now. Saying? Saying, so. <laughs> but go ahead. Yeah. So anyway, it was just so regular Jewish. white St Jewish. Steiny had to make a trip to the Israeli pharmacy. That's how fucking Jewish it was. So Oh, that that night at the <laughs> dinner Bro, table. Like there's just some things like that don't need to be shared, but at the dinner table, well, Salim was sleep the whole time, the is, man. The Israeli wall tires. <laughs> Sonny, how many times did you sleep that trip? Like every tired, day, Sonny I mean, was sleepy, bro. Bro, I mean, we're jet lagged. We're right? fucking flying fourteen hours. We fucking work. I was like, tired. You guys were hammered too. It was so hilarious that that dinner. Perform you, you two were clipped at dinner, bro. Yeah, we were clipped. Whatever. The we, guy was talking, and then you guys time. were just like going off of him. Cause so bro, I, funny. I didn't know, you know. I was I know. Just, I it's know, actually I funny. You predicted. <laughs> you know, there's a clip. You predicted that I'd have my yarmulke halfway off my head. And you did? You put it oh on my the God. when I perform Maybach. And then, yeah. The, the more drunk you get, the more like ghetto you get too. Well, I don't. Whatever. I poured hella ice inside no, his shirt, No, no, remember? so Salim fell asleep. Because we were tired as fuck. And then cousin put ice down his back. Yeah. And then like, I got like so Salim mad. woke up and he was probably- I got mad. I was drunk. He was probably bro. still hammered too. And like, you know when you're hammered and you wake up and you're just like really pissed. And then there was almost a scrap. <laughs> no, I wasn't. I was. I just got too. That was unholy. Yeah. Of you, I was Salim. so scared, bro. I thought Salim gonna do something. No, we've known that. I no. got too hammered. Salim bro. brings out that inner um, NBA young boy sometimes. <laughs> you I be mean, trying to do that too, man. You used to always want to be a rapper. Yeah. No. I mean, I performed this trip. Never doing it that was, again. I, I found I, it was funny to me. It was funny. Yeah. No, that was a good time. It was a good time. And they, they thought one it was time, funny you know? too. The next day, like they weren't like, "Yo, that was like disrespectful." They're like, "Like, oh, they're like, they love fine. you guys. They're, they're My like, dad love you." It's like, what the heck? They said that their expectations of how wild we were gonna be. Was way higher 
So we un- <laughs> wow. somehow we underperformed what they were expecting. Because well, because we're like the nicest douchebags that you could ever meet. Right? That's news to me. Yeah, that's like, also we're like, good. That's also we're like very one of the few but good values that Gabe brings is he gives that sweetheart. I'm a good guy, and yeah, that we can I'm be a shit good heads. guy. He's like a Teletubby. Yeah, no, oh, exactly. Bro, though, but it balances no, out. We're, we're all pretty nice though. I'd say. Oh yeah, for yeah. sure. But like, but yeah, for sure. It's good having Gabe there. Out. Yeah. Yeah. So thanks for that. When you guys are hammered, you guys get wild. Hey, when you get hammered, you you're an interesting guy as well. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, anyway, oh, you saw me drunk this I trip. I watched everything you did. You that saw night. me drunk. This I was trip. I was in the club. I was drinking, chilling. Just I was helping you that day. You lost. I, I don't ever want to feel as if like I man. What? It just what I did. Okay, let, let's get to that man, day like, in a couple of minutes. Uh, no, let's, next day. Let's let's talk about. Uh, let's just go in order. So we'll, yeah, we'll do. We went and did the shooting. We saw some guns. Day with the two, army. we woke up. Day two, we woke up. That ready was to go. Best. That was Israeli scaries for you boys, though. Definitely. Uh, time was late, as always. For the call like time. I'm not trying to chirp, but I've never seen like you two that. I was so tired. Like you guys were like, I was deathly dead. hungover. I was dumb. like, I don't know what. It's was a combination in that. of we like, didn't even the jet party lag. that much, and you guys. Were, I was like, so tired, done. and I was just like, dude, I didn't even sleep that much because I couldn't even sleep. You know it's what the I mean? Jet lag too. Yeah, that's re- pretty yeah. much it. When it was late out there, it was just like, fuck, it's morning. I went to Stadia's room at 2 a.m. that day, and he was just like, okay, well, clear why you went to my room at 2 a.m. Because you text me 10,000 times to go to your room. Oh, shit. Pause. We showed in the video on Monday if you guys were tuning in. For you guys what? See no. it. <laughs> I don't know. Let's watch Monday. What happened? You guys want to see. But. Fuck. I went to your room. And then you and also, you, didn't you tell them, like, didn't you donate money to, like, a some oh, Jewish yeah. organization? I donated $5,000 to a. Uh, Oh, congrats. The tutors are, bro. Do you remember? Or do you good. want me to say it? I think you owned them $4,000 still. But. So, yeah, we had our boy Laurent on the trip too. Um, and, and he said that Steiny was so hammered that he donated 5K to some Jewish organization at like 3 a.m. And then he didn't even remember doing it. Good Samaritan. Yeah. $5,000. You wake up the next morning and like you hear about that. And you texted one of the tour guides, Steiny texted her at like, I guess like 12 a.m. Before midnight. Before midnight. But like he texted her like where, W-Y-A. <laughs> One of the female <laughs> tourists, he hit her with the where you at. That's, so it was like a crazy it's like night. funny because I'm starting to get the scaries back right now, bro. <laughs> you, get, you made it out. Whatever. Three-point yeah. shooter. It huh? was funny as fuck, yeah. though. You try. You try. The girl, so we wake up the next day and the girl told us, yeah, Stiney hit me and said, where you at? <laughs> like the night before. My God, bro. I knew that I donated to the charity. I want to make that very clear. Did I you knew. end up donating it? Yeah, I'm not going to take it I back. I think you owe $4,000 still, no? I already sent it. I checked. Trust me. Well, okay, would never do that anyway, so. <laughs> yeah. Maybe, maybe to McDonald's. $4,000? I don't have that kind of money, but yeah. W for Stiney. $4,000. What do you mean? That hurt, bro. Like, I'm I'm glad it's going to a great cause, but that hurt a lot. Anyway. So next day you wake up. He was next like, day wake next up and we, day, yeah, blah, blah, blah. We went to the. We go to the army. Yeah. We went to some anti-terrorism training base. Shot a 12-gauge. Wish it was a Draco, and then we shot. We got, a, we got attacked in the bus. We were sleeping. Remember, we that were was dead? fucking. Nuts. I was that, so scared. Is that on camera? Yeah, yeah. They all came in, started sh- shoot. I don't know what. So they, they were shooting. staged an attack on our bus. They had fake guns. Yeah, but they still fired. But they fired blanks. Yeah, that was pretty scary. They were like, "Move, move, move!" I was like, "Bro, where the hell yeah. are we, bro? I'm too tired." What'd they you guys really- do? I just was like, "That's what I was." Yeah, saying. you guys I was like, were, Yo, oh, take You me. went to the bus at the end. I was just like, "It is what it is." If this shit's serious, because I mean, we're ser- we're like. <laughs> they told us not to move around or like don't don't go wandering. Like, Fuck it, man. We're All of a here. sudden, Steiny and, and Celine was gone. Nobody could find the guys. We they know that middle training. They know we've been we were tired that day. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean. It's always good. You got to. We've said it. that a few yeah. times, but yeah, yeah. said it a couple times. It, it was crazy though. Were you you guys saw the dog right? The part they yeah. had like they had like a military German Shepherd, and the dog was so fucking trained. It was it was fucked. That they was showed scary. how they like find bombs and shit. Like with the dog, and it was crazy. No, that was a that was fun as hell. That was cool, and and they showed like their kind of like their fighting tactics and stuff like that. Yeah, that, that and the guy, guy pu- yeah, pulls guy up with the gun crazy. behind your head. Like, what do you do in that situation? What do you do that in that was, situation? Was you go like this. Guy. You go like this. So the guy put the gun to the back of my head, like this. You kind of go like. You got to feel you, it though. You got to feel the. You got to feel the barrel. You can't be too far. <laughs> Yeah, that has a name for. Like basically, he, take the gun. Like, he, he just has or, fast reflexes. You can't. Yeah, you gotta be fast. He's fast <laughs> reflexes. I mean, you gotta be. It's a whole technique, cool. right? I don't know the name. Like, I wish we could pull it up the name on the of that screen. Or the bro. K. I forgot the name. Well, remember that one guy that used to go viral on TikTok? That like fat dude. That like the black guy. 
Oh, I don't know. Uh, what he tried to be like the tactical dude. It was kind of like that. His name. It was kind of like he's that. from Detroit. I know you're talking. Yeah, about. that guy's hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we missed that, and then um, yeah, we trained for like two or three hours there. Something that I set up I, that I, I knew you guys would want to see was the, I don't know what it's called, but the dude in the, the desert. Be, the Bedouins? The Bedouins. Yes. So this is where we, it was actually, it's technically in Palestine too. Yeah. So it's it's in Palestine. So it's basically, but it's not like, I want to say we're representing all of Palestine by going to this area. Because it's like, it's pretty much like, they're like nomads. So they're living in like these like fucking like tent shack type things. And um yeah, they're basically just like living off the land in like the middle of the desert. It's pretty crazy. The crazy part that were like we had three we, different we cars. See them. It was me, Kyle, Austin, Alex, and Sean in one car. And then we got we got lost. Like we got our car got separated from all the other cars. And then people getting text messages like, Welcome to Jordan. I was like, What? We're not in Jordan right now. So the, the satellite was picking up Jordan signals already. And we were in the middle of nowhere. The phone was not working. Yeah, I guy was out to lunch. And we were so <laughs> scared. All of a sudden, we see a freaking eight years old kid just driving a car so fast by An us. An eight-year-old? Yeah. yeah that was literally by himself. I think younger. I think like Younger six. than that? Yeah. What was he whipping? Just like a shitty like Honda Civic or some shit. Like, or like one of those type of Those sedans. old cars. It was insane. Yeah, I've seen that too. Was, was it like, like this? Yeah, yeah. yeah like yes. Literally a kid type. driving. Yeah. Did you guys like talk to him? Or no, just... he was just driving like by us. Like we nothing happened. Did he like... Flip you off or nah, nah, nah. It was just normal for him. But yeah, the Bro, guy had nuts. the 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 family that we met. The guy has fifteen kids, two wives. His oldest kid is like thirty five, and his youngest kid is like five. So the kid, one of the, one of his kids that's like six is already an uncle. Yeah, you like, said he was his how old? kid. His kid that is his oldest kid's thirty five. How old was the guy? I don't, seven, I, don't, I think. No, he wasn't that old. Yeah. He was old, yeah. No, I don't know how old the father would be was. pretty old to have 15 kids. He was 87. And a six-year-old. No, and, then, and, and then the we great, met great his dad. The grandfather, he was on um, 98. Was, was the 98. grandfather was 98. The guy, so, yeah. he was so he was 98 So he was 87, bro. 88. How mobile was that guy? He was just sitting down like, at all. eating pita bread and like some soup. He only, eats, he only eats pita bread and sheep milk. But could he like, could he move? Like walk? He was sitting Dude, down. He didn't look ninety eight. Yeah, he, he looked was just like lying down 85 like this. or something. He was just lying down like this, just dipping his bread inside. Yeah, the he suit. wasn't like fragile. Isn't that crazy how you can fucking live like that at till ninety eight and not have the resources? Well, because dude, I think like there's not there's not a lot of like stress in those like environments. Like the guy lives in, our in a environment tent with thirty kids. And in, in our environment I know, but I don't think it's that <laughs> I don't think that's that stressful compared to like what we go through probably. Yeah. There's so much like unnecessary stress that like I think we deal with in society. Compared to like those people, like they're way happier. Yeah, they're way can, happier, bro. Can you describe the tent setup? It, okay, it wasn't like a tent. It was like I don't really know how to describe it. You you have to see it in the video, which I think will be out this Monday. By the way, yeah. if if the editors can turn it around, I'm they're in sure. the office now. So let's see. Ozzy was saying a lot, a lot of sick this, oh, sick yeah. that. Oh, he already the whole way. He already texted me. Yeah, he said he's sick. He needs an IV. He always needed a view. He never takes. He's just yeah, he never nah, takes. He's such wants, a little he bitch. He wants to milk the performance. Why are you calling him a bitch, man? He's probably just sick. Four yeah. Time, no. <laughs> Every time I get, I get him an IV, he never, he never. Can takes you get him it. a goddamn IV then? I don't get it anymore because he never do it. Yeah, the, he does never do it. The lady goes there, he gets scared, he doesn't do it. So I'm not doing it again. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> yes, all the time, bro. Three times already. Okay, but he wait. So scared. Oh, wait. So yeah, this guy had two wives too, and we asked them, and we said, "Did like, you see both of them?" Yeah. Did, yeah. Okay. He said they get along. They get along great. Um, they're both not bad, man. Far away, yeah. some like desert Bedouins. She was honestly like a Judean. Like I'm not even lying. Like one was like probably like a seven. I'd say like a Judean eight. <laughs> Judean eight. <wait. laughs> so two two chicks. She's light skin. And they're both. That's the main guy. They were though. desert. They were desert fucking nines for sure. Yeah, Judean eights for sure. Yeah. And what the? But fuck? The, the, the funny part was like that. His dad, the guy we saw sitting down, he was 98, and he has four wives, and he have 300 plus. Uh. Kids, 300, and no, 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 300 grandkids, grandkids, and stuff like that. Yeah, not stuff like that. But he with has 300 him, grandkids, but with, with 300 the, grandkids. And I asked him, I said, Can you give us one piece of advice? And they translated him saying, um, Use a condom. <laughs> no, I mean, I did ask him, Did they wrap up? They said, No, obviously not. And then I did ask him for one piece of advice, and he said, Honestly, just life is good. That's all he said. Yeah. Fuck yeah, I love life that. I was like, Wow. 
He only eat pita That'd be and fucked though, right? Like you, your grandpa doesn't even like remember you and shit. Yeah, I think like that's you what up it and is. Like yo, like I'm your grandson. He's like, oh, right. Like, <laughs> there's no way you can remember 300. No people. presents, huh? Huh? No presents. That's a lot of grandkids. Yeah. Man. Cr- good thing they don't. Christmas would suck for that guy. <laughs> yeah. Hondo. No, I, but I think their their shit's probably like a leave the nest. Like you, you're a certain age and it's just like you're on your own. It's got to be. <laughs> what age do you think they have to like be on their probably own? Like fourteen. If you I think like young, 14. bro. Probably like young. twelve. I mean, that kid was whipping the at ki- eight years old. The kids old, were though. just like roaming around. Bro like, had a Honda Civic. Was he? Was he blasting music? <laughs> I don't think so. No, <laughs> he was cruising though. Like he's, his head's off. <laughs> I really did you get that on video? I don't, Which, know. I don't think we did. We, we, we were just hopping off the car. And we saw him passing so fast. That shit was pretty cool though. That's that's a super culture shock. <laughs> like. That, that should have came. That man. you guys didn't came because you guys are fucking little. Yes. Yo, positive man. energy, man. That's, that's really what I'm, I'm trying to practice. I'm, saying, but like, I'm really trying to practice that. And you're being, <laughs> I, you're really like just fucking up the energy. <laughs> All right, Bradley. What's up with these glasses, bro? Bradley. Just positive oh my energy. God, Bradley, man. take your glasses off. Well, like the funny part is like how the trip started, set up the whole trip and everything else. And he was most of the time off for the trip. Did not even enjoy the trip or nothing? So like next time, time, I don't think you should just stay back. No? Huh? <laughs> Wow, he's really. The guy didn't enjoy the trip at all. He really thinks come... he's so much more important than he is. Bro. No, I don't feel straight like... up do my job and your job. Bro. You were there, like waiting for you <laughs> and shit. You know, you didn't have to do a thing. He didn't even this enjoy trip. the trip. I had a great time. We yeah. just have different ways of having good times. Yeah, you went to fucking six a.m. You I fucking went to bed at twelve. You yeah. fucking chase around the fans for whatever, offer them whatever. I fucking rage, bro. I fucking party. The brand's <laughs> fucking full send, bro. Am That's I allowed to party it, or not? <laughs> straight up, no half sins. Am I allowed I to party? party? Too. At full send, are you allowed to party or not? Yeah, this is you comedy. Are. Like, fuck, man. If I wake up one day and I'm a little hungover, I don't need to hear about it from you the entire day. Well, that was two the days in a row. The whole day, bro. <laughs> yeah, he didn't do nothing. We were there fucking to have, do stuff. You I know? signed the scroll, bro. <laughs> on behalf of... Uh, <laughs> on behalf of Nell. Sign the scroll. <laughs> I performed Maybach twice. You performed... Freestyle by little baby one time. <laughs> I did, yeah. I did. I'm, <laughs> that was amazing. He sung some money bag yo song too. That was oh like my money God, bag. <laughs> yeah. Huh? I Everyone thought it was so confused. Dude, it's fun, oh, man. That Dude, was, that was that was yo, dope. if you're hammered I and love that. you're on stage and someone gives you a mic, like you're you're gonna I mean you so kind of feel better. Funny. Yeah. You you just start rapping, you don't really What's let's get well, to it. Okay, so after that we we stopped by Dead Sea, which was cool. I'd done it before. You guys wanna share your experience? That was next day. Uh, the Dead Sea? Yeah. The Dead Sea. After the ball wins, Kai went to the, to the spring still. See how much you guys Okay, the hot springs is not that. Whatever. Yeah, how was that? that? That's not. Um, <laughs> yeah, let's just go. It's not like a about staple in Israel. <laughs> Yo, Kyle, Kyle so went to the Kyle, Kyle hit the sauna the next day. Let's talk about the sauna, bro. <laughs> bro, the hot spring was an experience. <laughs> and he stopped by the mini market on the way. Yo, Dead Sea, what'd you guys think? <laughs> Jay, uh, you were saying first time you could swim. Bro, that was the first time I was actually like able to Really swim. He, he put mud on. He put mud on himself, and we couldn't even notice. Yeah, yeah that was horrible. That the was Dead crazy. Sea was pretty so cool. He was man. desperate. No, he was like, I, don't know. I, I, I didn't so know you still could couldn't float. swim. <laughs> what did you, what'd you, what'd you think? Not. What was your honest say, no, opinion of, of course, that? Though? Bro, you're floating. You're floating. You're literally floating. It's just but it was just like it was weird because like I mean, damn, like we're. It's floating. tough to trust it, right? Yeah, it's tough yeah. to trust it, and then like you can't get salt in your eyes, obviously, and like you couldn't piss in the Dead Sea. Nah, you couldn't piss in the Dead Sea. Bro, it was kind of like burn. your your dick apparently stung for a day. Yeah, like it was just weird. Like so I was not trying to piss. I bro. always piss in the ocean. Too. It's like scratching something. And you guys piss in pools or not? Huh? No, I pee in pools. Oh, I'm a Why huge not? Pool pisser. No, you pee. In I'm, pools? I was just scared yeah. if the pool got, 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 was gonna was gonna turn I purple. I always around rip me. a piss in a pool. 100%. You do too, for sure. I pee before I got in. There's like a certain age. I'll never get out. I'll never get out of a pool to piss. That's fucking selfish. It's just, yeah, no, it's it doesn't very make selfish. a difference. And I bro. hope you change that. It doesn't make a difference. Selfish. Go, take a piss before you get in the pool. He bro. agrees I actually with think peeing pe- in a pool. I actually think yeah, people are weird. Does. Like, I, I think people it. are weird when they like get out of the pool to piss and do the right like, When people are like, yo, I got to go piss. I'm like, man, just piss in the pool, bro. It's pretty lame. If yeah. it's a big pool, too, like, no it really doesn't taste it. It's not a hot tub, it's a pool. I've never peed in a pool. And no, I don't believe it. Maybe up until age 15, no, 12. And then. It's like, dude, I, can, I swear, bro. I don't, it's, I don't, I don't. Like if there was a bathroom like right there and you're like, yeah, just get, get out, out of the pool. You're not going to the restaurant. I promise you, you are not, I with, your lazy ass, ass, not going to rest with your to lazy ass, you are not getting out that pool. I, I mean, I wouldn't Celine would. in a pool. Dude. Celine? Like, yes. Out of all of us going to get out of the pool? I don't pee? think you would and they already What do you mean? You guys just admitted to peeing in a pool. I Yes, I 100% pee in pools. You can do it too. I 100% pee in pools. Simple as that. 
All right. Well, okay. anyway, yeah. we're good and piss in the Dead Sea, but it was really cool because you just you just completely. <laughs> well, you can't. Okay, so you can't this sink in the no Dead sense, Sea. Man. Yeah, you can't sink you at all. You can't sink. It's impossible. Yeah, it was just it was just hard to like. It was just like, I, and that's because well, I wouldn't trust it. Like, and that's because like the whole thing is like there's just so much salt. Because yeah. it's it's lot. the lowest point. It's the lowest point, um, in the world. So you're just like closer to the Earth's core. And Gabriel, so I guess is that why the salt content's like way yes. higher? Yeah, Gabriel thought he's a scientist. That's probably what I tell. Oh, you. Oh, that's what I learned. It wasn't hard to remember. Gabriel kind of thought he couldn't float too. He was scared. Yeah, I was shocked, bro. I was like, you can let a seat, like you can let it be sitting, like you. And, and it's chair. really hard to Dana swim. Dana White's no fucking way he floated. What the hell? Okay, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> we walked for so long. Remember, we were walking, and like it's not sand; it's salt. Rocks are salt in the bottom. <laughs> Thank you so much it's for what? not cannonballing in there. It's I, what I really appreciate salt. that. Salt is not. Yeah, salt. Okay. Salt. 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 <laughs> salt. I don't know how to say that in fucking English. It was not sand. It was salt. Right? Salt. Yeah, you're good, bro. Salt. Good. All right, salt. let's move thanks for, on. Thanks for salt. not cannonballing. <laughs> All right, let's get on to Tel Aviv. Fucking party city. I've been turning up on yeah, my Yeah, apparently seat. Tel Aviv is like the gay capital of the world, right? But there are, dude. They, oh. said, they said that shit was like fucking Miami. I don't know about that. No. That, you, that was the one. Bro. It, 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 Tel Aviv I mean, is not Miami. Was, that was that, the one. That, that spot rabbit. Was popping. Yeah, the, the, the first the, spot. The, the clubs and shit. It was. No, it but what was, about just lit. visually? Yeah. Okay. Visually. Well, maybe we, the we beach. We also did go. I think it's different. Tel Aviv was cool, but we I will say it's definitely not. Yeah, but it's not Miami. It's more. Well, it's not a vibes. summer as well, but yeah, Miami's always popping, but wasn't. I Miami. wouldn't compare Tel Aviv to Miami no. in terms of sending. Well, maybe because we didn't go during summertime. We'll, we'll go the, back and compare. The, it, the beach. The beach was. I mean, it was a dope beach. Yeah, it was nice. No, it was nice. I'm just saying, it's definitely not Miami. Okay. Noted. Cool. I'm just saying. I just, club, want, people, I just want people. I just want people to know. So we went dope. out. Clubs we went dope. out, and you guys. You Bro, had, you, you had guys, the time of your fucking yes, life. In I had so much he can't fun. Wheel for shit, man. It's insane. I got somebody back to my room. What are you talking I, no, about? No, just like watching you, because I was just, I was just having a drink, just watching you, and like I just see a, a guy just like. Nah, I'm no, that's cool. not true. Not that's not true. Wait, that's what? not true. What okay. happened? What yeah. happened? Predator Poncho. That's not true. Like, like he, Predator he, Poncho. He was fucking with it, but he was dropping. like, he was like fuck. He, it was like one of those moments like, I'm going to regret Predator this Poncho. shit. Predator it's Poncho. Yeah. That was not Wait, true. Guys, what are you guys talking about? No, so we just, went out. So <laughs> so we, after Kyle and all them went We went home, to a gay bar, stayed. bro. This guy, yeah, that, that bar that, sucked. I, that bar sucked. That was lame. We were at the most popping spot. We changed. We did a bar hopping. Rabbit was popping. Yeah, we did a bar hopping. First, first we went to uh, what's called Aria. It was really good too. Thanks so much for having us. Appreciate it. And then the other one, we went to all the clubs. There was like we were bar hopping. It was crazy. And then we went to Jimmy Who and then the night it was like a fucking four a.m. already. Sorry, go ahead. It was insane. It was really fun. Like really good music. And I was just having fun with somebody. It was what's funny watching that? you because <laughs> it was like a moment I could just read the guy's head like. Like fuck! Like if I do oh, this, yeah. man, I'm gonna regret this. Was it? The, was it the guy in the welcome hat? Or no? <laughs> yeah, this guy. Well, with got the out of the country and you made it. You're good. That, that kid was putting... chirping me too earlier in the night. He yeah, was so like was some London kid. kid, and he was like, he was just getting like a little chirpy with me in the bar, and I was like, buddy, you're wearing a fucking Volcom hat, bro. Because I think he was like, I think his... he, I think he was from London, so he thought like wearing a Volcom hat was cool. Well, what were his chirps? No, I don't even remember. He was just like, you know, when a kid's just getting like a little lippy with you, and he was from like he had the London accent, so I was like. Buddy, you're wearing a fucking Balkum hat. And then I heard, like, you fucking hooked up with Gabe. So I was like, buddy. <laughs> you What's wrong with that? Yeah, yeah. Wait, was that your I first? I didn't really have to trip him back. Like, yeah. Oh, nothing <laughs> was wrong with yeah, that. Really that it was, like, <laughs> was a really fun Buddy, you hooked up with you Gabe that. and you're wearing a Balkum hat, you fucking donkey. Wait, Gabe, was that your first civilian kill? No, bro. How was my first it was, civilian? It was just like a, I don't know. Damn, my shot. So you, you, were more <laughs> lo- you were more lost than anybody else. So how can you remember that? I mean, I was just having You are so lost. No, nah, we were chilling. Watching. We were following you, you gotta, around. You gotta call us. The, gotta call, make a call to the IDF, eh? the Israeli Defense Force. That's yeah, the least. Maybe no everybody was like cool in the club. We had too. so much like, fun, all of us, right that day, right? It was fun. It was just watching you. It was just Gabe. Jay gets, had fun too. Gabe, Gabe gets labeled yeah, a, a terrorist, time. huh? <laughs> yeah, that guy was a spy, well, probably, bro. Yeah, he probably. You're probably was. labeled a terrorist by the Israeli military <laughs> at this point. Oh my, shut God. up! Because when I have fun, I cannot have fun. I guess you can have fun. No, you can't just don't be. Why so jealous? I'm not. I would trust me. Clearly, was, you're looking like jealous right now. I'm not. Why can I not I have like fun? I like you're trying to do this bit, but trust me. I'm Why okay can I not have fun? <laughs> have fun, man. <laughs> All right. So, like, what's what's the point of Just it? Just be careful. You guys got like the blue face and Krishan rock. I cannot get nobody Yo, to like. Oh, well, be careful. Don't do this. Don't Who's do like. Krishan, fuck off. Huh? Let me have fun and get the fuck out of my dick, bro. Straight up, you know. Let me have fun. Have what? 
Let me I have mean, fun. He directed us to what did like you say bar. about your dick? Bro thinks he's my boss. What did you say about your dick? No? Like, get off my cave. Like, get off my dick. Oh, like, get off my dick. Okay. What? Bro, you, you took us to a, I thought it was something else. This guy was so selfish that night, bro. He took us to a gay bar. We're all in there. Bro, we were definitely. What's going on? I told you guys, hey, I'm leaving. I'm going to went to a different bar. You guys want to come to a gay club? You're like, yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go. Everybody just go. I was like, okay, let's go then. We get there. I hate the club. What sucks? I was like, I'm Bro, leaving. You want me to be honest? We, I yeah, looked we at Gabe because Gabe had been drinking, right? You know when I you look so at drunk. you know when you look at that one girl and you're like, like anybody could hit. Right. Like Gabe was that guy at the gay bar. <laughs> like <laughs> I'm telling you right yeah. now, like he was that guy where any gay guys like, yo, that guy's a skank. Like I could fucking shut I, up. You, you were all over and the you, place. You didn't even. Hit, and then you, you oh, fuck. I don't yeah. even know how to oh. trip back, but I can't. Wow. That was bad. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what just happened. Just start off again, by, start again, start again, off by again, speaking again, English. It's it's okay. You're good, bro. It's okay. Damn. What else? Uh, sit again. Fucking say, bro. bro. But you guys had a good night first night? Yeah. It was, it was really a good. great time. And I don't even know what we did the second night. Yeah, oh, the second night time. we did a fan meetup. Yeah, there was a huge fan meetup. That shit yeah, was the Western fun, Wall bro. was crazy. Yeah, we, we hosted up, we hosted like a party. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. The party. stage. I was thinking about the Western Wall because that was packed too. But We hosted a party. It was like they sold over like a thousand tickets. Yeah, that was crazy. That kid kind of finessed us, but yeah, that's my fault. Um, it was pretty crazy, though. There was like over a thousand fans. We crowd surfed. I did. Me and Jay. Jay, Jay and Celine crowd fans surfed. Just, yeah. Fans were like flooding the stage. Flooding. It was yeah. like, it was brutal. We evacuated the stage for a second. Yeah, because dude, I looked down and there was like an Astro World situation going on, bro. Like the fans were getting like fucking crushed. Like I saw, like the stage <laughs> no. was like this high too. Jesus, yeah. bro. It was though. No, I literally well, was like, yo, this is turning really into bad. that. Huh? You should have stopped it. I did. I told we Chris stopped and it. we fucking, we went backstage. He, to, like, see how he doesn't remember how drunk he was? No, already. I'm just not noticing everything, dude. It's not all about that. Oh, yeah. I remember that. Yeah, I was a lot of people getting crushed. That's my, that's that's my target. No, bro. We, the kid that's we like, off. oh, he's almost about to die. That's my guy. Fuck off. We yeah. went back. So be and easy with your shit. We control. <laughs> wasn't even that hammered that night. Nah, we. I mean, we were it was, chilling, bro. Yeah, it was just a chill night. We, we had, had a jump backstage. Stage. Like I got swallowed by the crowd, bro. It was good. We had that backstage though. The green like, room? dude, it was getting crazy. And we're like, bro, we gotta go back. Yeah, the green room was fun. It was cool though. It was cool. Everybody was getting. God, damn, they were getting crushed. Yeah, because we we're supposed to go to the Viet to, to like a table. And that table also got mob offense, so we couldn't go to the table. Yeah, we shouldn't have crowd surfed. It got fired up. And then you I was stuck in the middle the of the what mosh really? pit. Yeah, that's what we do. Yeah, it was You got to go there and do something to make the fans happy, so. I, uh, had, a, I had a really good time. I had a great time, too. I thought it was cool. I mean, we'll definitely, I, I agree. I was definitely, I don't know what it was about it. I think we were just really on the go. And it, it was very tiring. The jet lag, yeah. for some reason, this trip hit like way that hard. really hard. Not that it hit hard. Me you hard guys? As fuck. It, it hit, hit me, me really day. hard. It hit oh, me really hard the whole trip. Jet lag like right. I couldn't, I couldn't sleep the whole trip. Like I, I kept waking up early. Like I kept, I'll wake up in the middle of the night, can't fall back asleep. So I didn't definitely didn't sleep a lot. I don't know. I, so. I think too one thing that like day one why it escalated so fast is because we've never gone on a trip, or at least I haven't with you guys. I don't think you guys have either, but. Where it's been in such a like religious and you know what I mean, powerful place. It's like so that was a huge difference in any trip we've ever gone on. So I think that's why it escalated like that. Why we were partying the whole time? Because it was so religious. Well, because it's just like you don't know how to act. That makes like, no sense. Makes zero sense. Funny. All right, whatever. I'm, I'm on the fucking Messiah. Stop playing with me. Um, <laughs> no, it was cool though. It, must I, I, it was fucking sick. All right, good. But yeah, what what it was just tiring. I don't know why, but but also I, I think it's because every day, like it was just like there was an itinerary. Like we left the hotel every day at nine a.m. Like and we're fucking moving around. Uh, the food. Let me think. Not the best, like to the be food. honest. I didn't right. like it. All. Food, but, food was good. Food was good. The food was good, yeah, Gabe. You don't like good. the food because it was probably more healthy, bro. There's not all these well, preservatives I don't know, was and like, shit like was, that. Like, I like they have no a lot offense, of bread. Like, they had a, a lot of bread. But like the breakfast was really good. <laughs> yeah. A lot of pita yeah, bread. The breakfast was the best. The food's breakfast. probably like more real than it is. You here. ask yeah. Muslims if there are bacon in Russia. You know what I mean? Yo, it is. <laughs> it is fucked up when we leave the country. Like, every like the people there are just in better shape, bro. They don't eat like shit. Like, yeah, you know, I didn't. You see, even said there was no fat people there. Not one yeah, in Israel. No fat people. It was healthy probably and not it was in good. Russia either. I, I was the only one. I think the food was great, especially at the military base. Oh my, that that's where the best but, food but is. But I will different. say, compared yeah, to like, for me is different. Like compared to like other <laughs> Arab countries, like the shawarmas there were garbage. Yeah, I will say it I'm, straight up. You like, know I'm going right to be place. honest about these trips, huh? Probably didn't hit the right place. No, the shawarmas were garbage. We tried to do the places. way better shawarmas. Oh, you know I'm big In on Canada and Dagestan, the shawarmas were fire too. Shawarmas were, like the Mediterranean overall, like the rice and chicken plates 
I'll give it Be like honest. a six point seven. Yeah. And we tried two different places that this trip. And you know I'm big on shawarmas. Like Mediterranean food by far is like top three of my favorite foods. And that shit was ass. I'm not gonna lie. All right. Noted. The hell. <laughs> yeah, we, we we probably could have hit some we didn't really have a lot of time to I mean we were only in Tel Aviv for two nights. We only went out we did we went to dinner for one night or we canceled one night, yeah, went to another one. So in this video, just to point out, you get Israel and then we have the whole vlog of Power Slap, which includes also me getting smacked. So a lot of people are gonna wanna see that. I guess it'll be out if you guys are watching, it'll be out this Monday at probably nine Eastern. Nine Eastern time this Monday, six Pacific. Yeah. I think it's going to be a really crazy video. Crazy. Man. Crazy. Yeah, I'm excited to watch it too. Like we did a lot of different shit. <clears throat> yeah. And it's like, I think the new videos now, I mean, you guys really love the Russia video because it was more just like real. And I think um, these videos aren't too forced, right? Like Not it's more just like we're going and we're kind of just filming what we're doing type, you know? We're just having All fun. around pretty good vibes, I thought. Yeah. Yes. Generally, yes. It's more like vlog documentary style. It's cool. And I guess as we're getting older too, like now I, I even told Salim, I don't know if you remember, but it's kind of like an it's like an old Nelk vibe with like kind of like a full send podcast vibe like mixed into the video. Where it's like I feel like if we went to the Western Wall before, like we would have been writing like fucked up shit on the papers and like you know what I mean? Yeah, we actually said some real shit in there. Like I feel right. Dope. Like yeah. we would have fucking or some shit. Like I don't know, shoddies at the Western Wall or some shit. Yeah. But it's kind of like we're like doing both now. Like it's not like we're fucking woke losers now. That we're still gonna party and shit too. But it's like both. It's we're like, just like being ourselves now more. Kind of like a half send or. Yeah, like half sending sometimes. Okay. Right? You have to sometimes, right? Yeah. yeah. Necessary. Or just sending in the proper way at the proper time. Right place, right time. Yeah. That's it. Whatever, it'll be a banger. Um, yeah, Osgod, yeah. Osgod, get that video up, right? Ozzy, let's see what you can do, bro. Sean Haney. Let's go, Ozzy guys. has no Those excuse, boys, man. The editors, the editors went pretty hard, too, right? Not Ozzy. Yeah. Sean, Haney, I love Haney that, was so Sean hard. Haney, second, second in command always. and editor. Fucking, he was going hard. Yeah, that was fun. He was on a vibe. On Those a guys vibe. deserve it, man. Yo, do you want to play the... Uh, we'll, we'll, let's talk about Jake Paul and Tommy Fury. You want to play that clip, though, first? Tommy okay. Fury, Jake Paul's coming up. Uh, Jake's going to win. I think Jake's going to win for sure. I really hope Jake wins. I'm going to be honest. I saw a fact. Tommy Fury's opponents, all their records, was like 12 wins to 140 losses. But every boxer fights like nobody right. until they're fucking like 25. Yeah. It's funny how like for Tommy sure. Fury's the one guy that like everyone wants to see him get knocked out more than like Jake. Like something about Tommy Fury's face is just like so fucking good looking and like I think jacked. Just <laughs> you just want to see him. Just, <laughs> guy has a fucking so magnificent bro. chest too. <laughs> yeah. Did I get a lot? Yeah, I did well, but wait, they chopped that up a bit though, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's all chopped off. <laughs> but you still said all those things. Anyway, uh, he's we, a good looking guy. Did you guys? He looks watch like a it? fucking Barbie doll. He bro. is. Okay. So what do you think? Because I I didn't watch it, but I heard he got he was got his ass beat the whole way. Yeah. Bunch of one twos. It was. I I put some money on Jake too. I lost. Um. What were the odds? Was he favored? Yeah. Jake was favored. Wow, bro. Crazy. He always is, man. Wow. How do we not fire Tommy there? I didn't, yeah, I didn't well, watch the fight. I mean, now it's easy to say that, but like people. No, but I didn't know. I thought Tommy was the favorite. No. Nah. How, bro? This is a real boxer. It wasn't by much. It was like minus 110, I think. Oh, okay. Well, that's nothing. Um, yeah, no. I mean, I think, yeah, it definitely showed that Tommy Fury was, he could box. I mean, he, he, he definitely beat Jake for sure. I, I was watching the fight and I was just watching it on my phone and. Yeah, he definitely got the better of him, 100%. What do you think of Jake Paul? Obviously, to, I think it was today or yesterday, he's posting like, yo, I lost, but I still made 30 M's. It's crazy. Does think that's reality? accurate? Probably. I don't think he would lie about that. 30 Jake M's, Jake Paul doesn't strike bro. me as like someone that lies about how much money he makes. Still a business, man. The reason I respect like that thing. guy is because like he's the one YouTube boxer that's actually done it in a way where like he's he's making that real money and a real career out of it. But like... It is true what Tommy Fury said too. I mean, I don't know if maybe if Jake now did Jake underestimate him, Tommy Fury, or did, you know what I oh, mean? Oh, the Drake curse. No, no, I was saying not the Drake curse, but did Jake underestimate Tommy Fury? Like, I wonder what's going through his head now. A little bit. Like, do you think? I wonder if he just underestimated. I can't tell him if Jake's all for show. Tom Tommy Fury said it too. He's like, he didn't have to fight me. Like, he could have kept fighting well, like Anderson bag, Silva's. Like, he could have fought. I mean, just more, you know. He's not making that money fighting Anderson Silva or these other dudes. If he fights Tommy Fury, 
who also has his audience, that's real dope. Like that's for that amount of money, you can risk your record. I think. You agree? Maybe. I yeah. I don't know if. Yeah, I could say so. I don't know yeah. if he would say that. He wants to put up I'm a sure show, right? I'm sure they're pretty devastated about that loss. Well, now he gets a rematch. Yeah, but he's got to win. If he doesn't win, then it, then we'll. And, see and I will be I honest. Like I, I I love Jake too. I want him to win too. But watching that fight, damn, I don't know if he could beat Tommy Fury. I'll be honest. What happened? In I the mean, li- just as a fight fan, I don't, I don't know, man. I think Tommy just kind of outworked him. Like it, he landed a lot more shots. And it, just watching the fight, I'd have to watch it back. I only watched it once, but just from the first watch, it was. It just looked like he just he was just outworking him, man. Like he was. I know, but what does it say about the fact that Jake can go eight rounds with that guy? Anything? A lot, yeah, definitely a lot. Like, that's I mean, pretty impressive. It's at crazy, the same yeah. Time. Tommy has like four knockouts too, so he's knocked out real boxers. So, yeah, I think I think Jake did he did pretty good too. Like he knocked him down. He was landing shots, but, um, yeah, whatever. 30. I guess, but the thing is with Jake is like he's such a good salesman too. So you kind of it's like a Conor McGregor vibe, right? Like when Conor lost to Khabib, I was shocked. Like you just believe it. Mm-hmm. You believe that they could never lose, right? And that's why they're so popular and they're so big too, is because they're such good entertainers. I know. And then he po- he posts his bag and people just hate him more. He's too good at trolling, bro. Straight up. KSI. KSI was going out of KSI mind. starts talking shit, Tommy Fury this, and then Jake Paul. I don't know, bro. I'm just like, I don't give a fuck now. Yeah. That was interesting. I to see. But yeah, it's gonna be I wonder if they're gonna they said they're gonna do the rematch. But we'll see, bro. God damn, I mean Maybe we can go to this one. They they gotta really this is, Jake has to really to step his game up if he if he wants to beat Tommy Fury. Yeah, based on that performance for sure. And be, but if he wins, then it's like it's crazy. It's crazy. Well, what oh. do you guys have on the John Jones versus Cyril Gain fight? That's coming up on the fourth. Yeah, of March this weekend. Yeah. Really good. I don't know. Damn, man. I don't know. Bro. You can't ever too. go against Jones Jones, bro. <clears throat> I don't know who's gonna win that so. fight. I mean, I'm I'm obviously taking Jones. Yeah, Jones. But I, I mean, yeah. Gain is technical, but I'm gonna have to go with Jones. Yeah, like big you, you kind of have to go with Jones. Yeah, I mean the That's only reason fight, you though. wouldn't go with Jones is because like obviously he has been out for so long. Mm-hmm. That's like the main thing, and then secondary, obviously he's now fighting at heavyweight. Cyril's so, good, so though. he doesn't Cyril's have to cut really down on good. this fight apparently. Not as much, I guess. No, nah, he right? just had to bulk up, right? Yeah, I think he's like two. What is he? Two fifty, two sixty? I'm not sure. I don't know how much, but um, I think it's two thirty five. <laughs> No, the, I think the cap. I don't. Yeah, I don't know the cap. The cap's two sixty five. Two sixty five is the cap. So he probably went up to two fifty. Yeah, it's been three years since his last fight. So yeah, this. That's I'm, a I'm long ex- time, bro. But these guys stay in shape, dude. I'm excited for. This I don't one. think it's more about. It's more just about the. They call it ring rust, like just, like getting in there and shit. That you guy's know, fucking like been his whole career, like in the trouble, back and forth, like I don't know, bro. That guy's different. I think he's gonna win. We got to try to get him on the pod after, if he wins. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be sick. If he wins, I want to see it. John Jones win. I really do. He'll that'd win. be crazy. Yeah. Of course. Damn. So we were talking last pod about the AI clips, and then this one popped up of Kyle. We don't know if this is real or not. You guys decide, but it should be the first one. Looks pretty yeah. real. Have you seen this one? I did, yeah. I haven't seen it. Was it? This shit's fucked, bro. <laughs> it's so Drake funny, explains man. what. So I was just wondering, Drake, how did you come up with the song Way Too Sexy? Well, I haven't really told anyone the story yet, but... I'm on the Nelk <laughs> podcast, so I'll give you an exclusive. Wow, I appreciate that, man. So it started with me just vibing out in the bathroom, listening to some Lil Nas X, you know, regular Saturday morning. Right. So I'm listening, singing along, and I'm just thinking, damn, Lil Nas X is just way too sexy. He is, though, you got to admit. Even Steiny told me before he'd love to rail him. <laughs> right, so I jump in the shower, <laughs> and I'm kind of just singing about him. Bro. Saying he's way too sexy and shit, and I realized it could be a hit. Wow, it is them shower sessions that get you vibing. So I call up Future and Thug, like and they both agree. Future <laughs> even wanted to make a Valentine song about him. I was like, chill out, Future, he isn't that sexy. So we head to the studio, and we print out this photo of Lil Nas and put it in front of the mic. So it's like, as we're rapping, we can use him for inspiration. And the rest is history, really. Damn, that is a cool-ass story. <laughs> what the fuck is, is going on? Is that, is this that is so really... funny, man. How'd they get your voice like that? Is that really AI, or is it just, I guess it's AI. <laughs> yeah. They... But did they type it out, the script? I think they had to have. Okay, no, because there's things now where it's just like where they take from what you, you do said this. previously. Yeah, just like give me a Drake Kyle interview. Like there's there's programs that do that now. What do you mean? You man? would say some like shower session shit for sure. You do that shower yeah. drugs. I, I mean, like that. it's kind of weird how the AI 
said that you would pump Lil Nas X, but they yeah, know. They know like a lot we said, AI, AI is getting smarter. That's and obviously smarter. inaccurate. Like they're not, they know a lot they're about. They're a lot smarter than us humans. So I guess. Yeah, well, that's <laughs> not true. Why <laughs> don't admit it, bro? Why? Why shame of it? It's fine. Just let it go. Dude, that shit's scary though now, cause like, dude, you could just you could like frame people, bro. Oh yeah, big time. Like they no, they got to start making like voice notes and like even like videos soon, like inadmissible in court. Like a yeah, off that, to bro. Be really like honest. yo, that can no longer be proof. Yeah, everybody has to understand dude, that you AI could is out frame too. people. I mean, remember, like you could, well done, and that's yeah. just like brand new shit. Like imagine like five years from now, remember, like yeah, you like, can voice note someone and like completely frame them. When that gets perfected, it's gonna be real scary. That's that's scary as fuck. No, they gotta ban that shit from court, bro. Like I mean, voice notes and like anything like that. Remember, Stephen Curry shot like five half court shots. Like apparently, he only made like two of them out of the five. That was AI. No, was, <laughs> no I think that was probably just. Yeah, I don't know a what fake just clip. That was not that, but yeah. But I yeah. mean, that was not that was Photoshop type yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Video shop, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, but it's it. different. This is After crazy. Effects? Yeah. Is Stein is the guy gonna be an AI fucking talking like, oh, I'm the king. I'm just gonna put people with them. Wait nice. for Stein's TikTok stories now. Nice, bro. It's gonna good. be fucking good, good trip, good trip. dude. Nice. Okay, uh, I have one more. <laughs> I don't know if you want to talk about it, but like the KD got chirped by Shannon Sharp. Oh, what did Shannon Sharp say? Do you want to play it? Yeah, It'd be fine. good to have you react to it too. Okay, so wait, sorry. Giannis said, like, KD, quit, quit going to super teams. Come train right with there. me so you can feel what it's like to carry an actual team. Giannis Antetokounmpo said, said that? Said that, yeah. And then this oh, is what shit. Shannon Sharp said. This is said not AI, it. right? Let's watch. I don't think it was cute. I understand you on the Daily Show, Skip, and you, you make light of certain situations, but certain things, I'd like, no, nah, I'm going to pass on this one. Okay, can I make a quick point? Yes, go ahead. That was obviously written. Yes. Down, and he's reading it off the telecaster. Yes. But he knew full well. He had to sign off on it before the Absolutely. show started. Are you okay with this? Yes. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine with this. Go ahead. Yes. Okay, just for the record. And that's the thing, Skip. Just because they wrote it up there and said, I, I think this would be good, Nah, nah, because I already know how that's going to come off. Uh, and, and so he's had this before. Skip, remember the All-Star game? And they ask you, you're not going to take James Harden? Like, no, I want somebody that's going to pass me the ball. Well, how do you think James Harden's going to take that? How do you think Kevin Durant's going to take this? Not well. But, Giannis, you got to remember now, tell you talking about carrying a team, remember what you was doing before you traded for True Holiday. Remember what you was doing before Chris Middleton became of age. Let me tell you what you did. You lost before you got a, a holiday. You lost in the Eastern Conference Finals. You lost in the right, Conference you can, you can Finals. You lost in Eastern. No, but Damn, I just, I just think it's funny, and I want to talk, bro. Like the fact that he's comparing Steph Curry and Clay Thompson to Drew Holiday and Chris Middleton is like, yeah, that's true. Fucking insane. That's bro. true. That that's sounds true. like a bit of a reach, right? That's true. Insane, bro. <laughs> I think that is pretty disrespectful for Giannis to say. That. I think Giannis doesn't give so, a fuck about so, nothing. So real quick, Giannis read that off a teleprompter. He was on a show, but like he signed off, like agreed to say it. But I mean, he threw mad shade at KD, and like you know how KD gets in his feels on Twitter. Yeah, he has burner he's, like, accounts. Responding to shit. What did he say on Twitter? Just like th- responding to Shaq and Barkley, and just like he, he made burner accounts, Kyle, like fake accounts to respond to his own Twitter, so that. Like, people used to hate him so much that he'd make fake accounts, like, supporting himself. How do people know saying that? Like, how yo, do they saying, found like, out? saying, like, yo, you don't even know KD like that. Like, <laughs> right. oh, how, do they know? Caught, bro. <laughs> how do they know that it's his accounts? He got caught and he admitted to it, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, he, he admitted to it. He admitted to it, oh to it yeah. <laughs> there was a bunch of burner That's accounts. savage. <laughs> yo, but, nah, yeah, I don't know. I mean, KD, man, is moving a lot. I mean, he's on the Suns, but yeah, let's see player. what happens with the Suns. Has he played yet? He hasn't His played it. I don't know today. what happened. Yeah, load management. Oh, really? oh is it today? today. Yeah, oh, that's shit. why this clip's like so viral. Oh, we're going to watch. Yeah, I'm going to watch that. But yeah, let's see. I mean, he's got to win another ring. I mean, he kind of fucked Do up. Do they have a chance Brooklyn. at winning now, the Suns? Oh, Hell bro, yeah. they're, they're so good. They're like fourth in the West right now. Yeah, they're um, the favorite in the West. But, but I mean, Katie, damn. Like the Nets was like a disaster. That was like a waste of four years. Like he wasted four years of his career there. But, it's really just crazy. Like he's probably the example that you would go to of an athlete, the first athlete ever to get that much internet hate and actually, like, it fucked his head They up just don't like him. Probably they, 10 years. Why does he get so much hate? They did it to LeBron because he went to a super team. Because he went to the Warriors. Oh. It's because he went to the Warriors and it's like, bro, After he Kevin was about Durant. To beat he's like a team. generational talent. For you to, like, join another team, everyone would be like, oh, you're soft. You didn't lead your own team and shit. But, like, that still haunts him, I think, because I think he knows, like, Steph Curry was, like, the leader of the Warriors and he's got to win at a place where he's going to, you know what I mean? 
Yeah, that mm. it, that shit. Like was that's insane. in his head. It's like fuck, dude. I'm never gonna be a Steph Curry type leader. You know what I mean? Because I don't. I don't know. Curry gets the credit for that championship more over KD. Well, C- yeah. Curry's like kind of Curry, but, but it was Curry's team. Like it's, it's Curry's team. KD like, joined his team. Yeah. But the other the other thing is it's just like now everywhere KD goes, bro, he just gets like destroyed. Like he's on the Suns it's right now, bro. Like, like even the Nets. They're he, like, yeah. Hey, he went fucked. to the Nets. You know, and now he's on the Suns. He's playing with Devin Booker and Chris Paul. Like he has a, a stacked team. So like if you don't perform now, it's like, come on, man, what's going on? Yeah. But I mean, he'd be a we'll dream to have on the pod. I want to see him ever yeah. go on a podcast, but like that would be like a dream. Podcast. I want to see him. I want to see the Nets versus the Suns for sure. Or no, not the Nets versus some Mavs versus Suns. So I want to see Kyrie against KD because they both got traded. But yeah. we'll see what happens. Yeah. It's going to be dope. What was this Aiden Ross tweet? Uh, it's a little like controversial. He tweeted that there's only two genders. Oh. And I everyone's talking about it. But I got 47 million impressions and he's getting. I mean, it's pretty normal to say that. <laughs> like what? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. What no, but okay. I feel like the trans, the two genders thing now is like. Like, I feel like we were saying that, like, I don't know. For me now, I don't even really have that argument because I'm, like, bored of it. I'm bored of it, too. I'm just saying. Like, like we were talking about that sh- this shit, like, three years ago now. It's like, I, why still are people going. still talking about it? Like, it's kind of like. Just let it be, you know? It's no, so it's, much like, even know. it's like. I mean, it's pretty fucking obvious. It's like. that It got 47 <laughs> million impressions, though. Oh, man. That's crazy shit. You can't even really talk about that shit on YouTube. So it's just like. Yeah. I mean, people are fucking crazy nowadays, bro. You yeah. can't, like, what? That opens the door for much, much more talk. So it's like, but he's like, thing, just he's really going like and super. Goes and goes and goes. He's he's banned off Twitch now, right? Dude? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. He's gonna well, he's gonna sign a big deal with Kick. He's already on Kick though. Well, he, I guess he did sign a big deal, so he got a bag. I don't think it was he a gives huge a fuck. deal, apparently, right? One of the yeah. biggest ones. Big deal, Gabe. Big big deal. <coughs> uh, Good for him. Damn, he's going he's super. He's going super Andrew Tate, Sneeko. Yeah, I guess. But his for his bag, it's like, how do you turn it down? It was a yeah, lot, was no, a lot of sure. Do we do we want to just turn this into a fucking three hour girl talk right now or no? <laughs> no, no. Yeah, anybody having girl problems <laughs> or boy problems? Thank God I don't have that. Any boy problems? <laughs> oh, a couple. Why? Israel kids fucked up. Go and call her daddy for that shit, man. Yeah, no, I'm fine. I, I can talk to Stein in his room later. It's fine. It is pretty funny. He thinks he can wheel any guy, huh? I don't think so. <laughs> no, it's never just funny that. how you talk about it. You do. You I do was, think that. Like you degrade I other guys. You do think so. Like, if I if I was skinny, hopefully one day. <laughs> that's up it's to hard, you, though, like, bro. No, like, that's fucking hard. That's, no, to I mean, the, weight, the only reason you like, yeah, if you were skinny, you'd have more chance for oh, sure. Oh, a lot. But that's that's anyone. That's controllable. You can fix that. I know, it was so Andrew hard, Tate would bro. tell. It's not hard to stop eating ice cream. But then you'd honestly, if Gabe was skinny, he'd be such a whore. You'd be so annoying. Be disgusting. Too. Yeah. You'd be, you'd be more annoying. Big yeah. whore. Like imagine him talking shit. Like if he was like skinny like that too. Oh my god. Like you'd be like fuck, bro. Yeah. Like, yeah. like that. Oh. Even our tour guide god. said. Even our female tour guide said like you're a slut. Like the shit you were saying was like. Like even she was like Jesus Christ. Did you have a break? You got in a breakup, right? In Tel Aviv. Say again. You were in a breakup. You had a no, break up. That guy broke no, up. I'm not you. talking about that right now, but yeah. You gave uh, me the yo, phone. You come dude. on this yeah, fucking yeah, podcast. You talk about everything, bro. I'm exposing my life like that. You yeah. want, I've exposed my time. life 15 times on this shit. Time. Because you want to. My parents have called me about this. You're fucking exposing your thousand word fuck. text. I parents feel bad. Are you okay? So you're, yeah, cheat, you're cheating on Steiny. That's what you're telling me. Oh, yeah. All the time. I don't have a thing. What do you mean? Okay, anyway. I know you feel kind of like, you know. Bro, I'm done with this whole shit. I'm always there for you. 2 a.m. calls and 3 a.m. calls is fine. So it's, it's different, you know. 3 a.m. calls is different than like 6 Why do we even still make this joke? It's bro. funny when he talks and I look at your face. It's just like dumb, bro. Because it's just like. You already know you I got a bad it. bitch in my room. It's like, shut the fuck no, up. No, but it's there, man. <laughs> All right. You got anything? <laughs> but, anyways, we had so much fun on this trip. I think we got, we, we got to continue killing and just doing more and more and more. Yo, you're going to wrap up the podcast? Yeah, yeah, like, no, I'm not saying that. Let him do it. I'm not saying like we're going to do more I and more. I can't believe more. you did that that one time. What? You get too, like, think you're too powerful, man. You cut off. Your, I'm literally but when, you, also, when he ended the when he discipline. ended the pod last time. I was like, "You guys told me to." Was a note? No, we to didn't. End it. No, we was didn't. Was a note to the fucking John shit. John told to you to do it. it. Doesn't mean you have to do it. Yeah. Well, I was told it too. But anyways, <laughs> you guys, and, and, and uh, overall, and you you're guys still going to do it. You're still going to yeah, do it. You're still gonna I'm not doing it. I wanna, like, you think you're too I wanna, powerful. I want to ask one question. Be, I want to ask one question before we go, and then you guys can do more. And finish All right. What's your question? Willing to. What's your question? What the next 
trip that you guys want to go when you guys dream to go? Australia Spain. or Africa? Okay, Australia and Africa? Yeah. Salim. Yeah, I ain't, I ain't I kind of, I want to like go that. to fucking Rio de, de Janeiro. I would never want to And I'm going to storm the favela on horseback with a fucking spear. Oh, <laughs> my like God. Like I own that motherfucking country. Yeah, That's where I want to go. I want to go to Brazil. Guy. I don't want to go to Rio de Janeiro because no, I, I know go he's going to gonna conduct hometown. everything. Because McGregor said he wanted to do it with, to Jose Aldo, but I, uh, I want to do it with two spears. If he is McGregor now, please, Titan. No, get I just think I own place. Brazil and Rio de Janeiro. You really so I want to go there and fucking take the American flag and fucking stab it. So Kai, that's what I want to go. Um, I probably, yeah, <laughs> Africa. I was talking to the tour guides about Ukraine. Shit. Fuck. <laughs> Ukraine. Just, just when you guys thought Russia wasn't enough. We need a break. I think we flipped the rules. Apparently wow. there's a Ukraine plug. Wow, that's tough. What's in Ukraine? Yeah. Well, oh, we could no go idea. like, I don't know. War. We could go see what's going on there. All right. Like, um, I guess we're not taking sides. We want to explore and see what's the reality of it, right? Yeah. Have fun. All right, are we good? We go to Ukraine. We're going to bitch about it as well. But no, we need a break. I think the next video <laughs> will be, um, we got confirmed dates from Hezbollah. Hezbollah. We're gonna, I think we're going to wrap it up. So uh, the Nelk video will be out this Monday, 9 p.m. Eastern. You guys got to watch it. Yes, Let's, sir. Uh, the Russia premiere was huge. It was this like, should be huge. Power slap, Israel, fucking crazy. Make sure you guys get in the premiere too. Let's all let's all watch it like live. Let's see how many people we can get live watching it. So set the time, 9 p.m. Eastern time. And we go to Florida go. next week, right? For Happy Dad? Spring yeah, break. no one, no one cares. Don't no yeah. about that. Okay, maybe not, save that. We go to, for your we go to Florida decision. like thirty times. I don't a know. Year. It's, it's spring break. We're gonna be in Key West for the first time as a group. People True. Really excited. True. The fans would love to know that. True. We are gonna be. Yeah. Maybe. We are gonna be in Florida for spring break for to promote, promote Happy Dad. So yeah. Maybe like Gabe. Fuck. Yeah. Monday, Tuesday, drink, Wednesday. Drink, uh, Florida. Get your water in your system this week, boys. Stay hydrated. Wednesday next week. Yeah, Monday. We're gonna come in Key West Monday. Fall Lauderdale Tuesday. And Wednesday we do Miami. Damn, bro! <laughs> Holy shit! So wow. today you have the happy that IG to see how we're gonna be. Stop, be fun. Like, dude. You're All right, yo. Like, What's up All with right, this yo, guy? Thank you guys. Like, what do you get? Th- where do you get that from? I don't know. No, nah, just let like, him end it. Just so let him end it, weird, please. Bro. I just wanted it. people to go and have fun with us. Oh, I know, but when you come on the pod, like, you don't just, gotta like shout shit out and like. I don't know. Shout out your idea. Yeah, give your grandma. Yeah, what, what else do you check want to say? Like, follow, follow Gabe Poncho for where we're going to be next week. Fuck, no, let him finish it. Let him finish it. Right <laughs> in your ponch. Close out. Can we actually see his... Can we actually see his... His list Close out. Now everyone's going to be waiting for us in Key West and shit. Like, it's going to be a <laughs> fucking riot, but... All right. Gabe, yeah, end, end off the pod, please. Fans appreciate it, I think. No, they do. It's just the way you say it. It's just... I don't know. You just... It's just funny. It's like you're trying to sound like someone. Like, you're just controlling the situation. I'm not. I'm just letting them know what's going on. And it'll be like, all right, so follow Happy Dad. Like, it's like, buddy, <laughs> shut up, you know. Well, and, and don't the follow that, I guess. No, end it, end it. I want to see you end it. I mean, it's not just like, shit. Yeah. let Kyle do that. Yeah, wrap it up now. Wrap it up, no, please. I'm not doing please, please, please. please. Want to so bad? Just do it. <laughs> want me to do it? Okay, yeah. Cousin. <laughs> all right, wrap it up. Bro. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching this other internal podcast about our trip to Israel. Comment and like it. So we can continue doing this. We appreciate you guys. We love you guys. And see you next pod. <laughs> Yo, if this guy's go. in a thumbnail or some, bro, it's over. This yeah, guy's no, I don't know how many more he's in a Nelk thumbnail, like this, what you hear, right? if he's in a Nelk thumbnail, it, it's wraps. Creation yeah. or creation. What the fuck we're going Guys, guys, make sure you join the Key West. The Key West, um, we're going to be Happy Dad. It's sponsored by Kyle. I'll do anything for Kyle. Uh, I'll do anything for Kyle. Get out of here, cuzzy. It's for Axel. <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys next week. All right, see you. Thanks. Bye.